We got more parts, like a whole box. I'm super stoked about it. Thank you, ECS. You guys are gonna love this. So I mentioned in the valve cover video, when I was looking at my engine bay after doing this new valve cover and all that new wiring and all that cool stuff, it, the engine bay looks rough. And so I know it needs to be cleaned up. So I got contacted by James from ECS, said, dude, we've got a huge sale coming up from February 2nd to the 15th. Uh, on all of our kits, or like our Assembled by ECS kits, is there anything else that you need to make this build rock solid? And I said, actually, there is. I've said before, ECS does these kits where they place everything that you need together kind of in one box. Um, and every single ECS Assembled kit is on sale right now. And so I picked up one more thing that I felt like was gonna make this car really solid. So, what have we done so far? We've redone all the ignition wiring, replaced spark plugs, coil packs, um, the little adapter plate that makes those fit in really nicely, and all of the wiring that goes back into the wiring harness. We have done the timing set, water pump, that whole thing has been replaced and fixed by a master technician, thank you Angel, and Eurospec Bodega. We've pl replaced the CV axles in the front, we're also going to do the ones in the rear. We've replaced the suspension with Solo Works components, so thank you so much Jeremy, those are awesome. We have replaced uh, all of the control arms and ball joints and control arm bushings. Uh, with a kit from ECS as well. And so the worst looking part by far underneath my hood right now is the coolant expansion tank. ECS sells those, but they also sell this. This is a full kit. Ah, another t-shirt. To replace all of the parts that wear and tear in this coolant system. There's a few weak spots. One is the thermostat housing, which is plastic. And the other is the dreaded coolant flange on the back of the motor. The reason it's dreaded is because it's on the back of the motor and you have to take it off basically without even looking at it. So it's all feeling and getting bolts out and things like that. A new temperature sensor, so that'll go in today. Obviously this will go with this. This is a new thermostat, so we'll just lay that off to the side. This is all hardware and stuff to help you get the job done. Uh, we got a radiator flush, which is pretty cool. We'll use this in our flushing process when we get everything replaced. And then obviously we've got some coolant. Oh, and the most important part, this. So this is a brand new expansion tank. So if you'll notice, my the one that's in my car right now is like yellow and gross and dirty and it looks terrible. So I picked this one up from ECS. It comes with a brand new top. These tops are like pressure relieving tops. So that's important. So brand new top with a new O-ring and everything in that and a brand new tank with the plug on the bottom. So this is literally just a plug-in kind of thing and um, it's gonna make the engine bay look so much better. So I'm trying to do all the work on this car mechanically while everything's pulled off because it's so easy to get to everything. The, uh, the only thing that's not easy to get to is the one thing we have to replace today, which is that coolant flange. It's down and back behind here. All right, so that was actually a really easy job for me. Um, I don't have my SAI, so I had a lot more room to work back there. All I really had to do was disconnect the turbo oil feed line, and that gave me access to the bolts. Now, something that I noticed when I was back there is that this top bolt wasn't even connected to the uh, head or the block or whatever it's connected to. So that is definitely where I was having my leak. I just didn't have this clamped down. Luckily, it looks like ECS gives you all the parts you need for that. This is my new temperature sensor, you can see uh, the old one has lived a hard life. ECS sends a new clip for this. It looks like an O-ring as well, so we'll figure out where that goes. All right, so you notice that time lapse ended at night. I had some issues getting the thing plugged back in. Two things for you to know. One, the temperature sensor doesn't have to be pushed in real hard before you flip it just kind of sits in there and the clip will lock it in place. So you kind of feel around for that a little bit, but it'll get locked in place, but you don't have to push it down. I was pushing it down too far, and it was causing the clip to not actually lock onto the sensor. Um, the clip, this clip, the little C clip. Um, and then the quick connect hose uh, has to be pushed in before it locks. So you have to push the clip in and then slide it onto the coolant flange and it'll click into place. Super easy, just didn't really know that's how it works. So, the next thing we're gonna do is replace this other sensor. This is our fan temperature sensor. It's held in the same way as the other one. There we go. So that actually took me a good bit of time to get out. 
This plug is old. All right, so this is just like the temperature sensor. Pop this into place, just like that. And that one's replaced. This expansion tank comes with new, I would call them speed nuts, but they're like a plastic nut that the screw screws into. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of those. That's good. Um, I know I time lapse getting the old one off. Basically, all you have to do is this can get uh, kind of dry because it's old rubber. Um, if you'll just take some pliers and grab it and twist it a little bit, it'll break it loose. Same with this one on the bottom. So what we're gonna do first is put this thing in, put a little protector on it. Pop this hose on. I genuinely underestimated how much of a difference just this part would make. It makes this thing look so much better. I mean, this is the old one. So, I mean, that's a huge, huge improvement. Just throw that over there. I'm really stoked on this. I can't show you guys this idea to make because I have a secret project I'm working on right now, but this is looking good. I need to find a way to make this look nicer because now this looks good and this over here looks good. I'm gonna clean all this up. But this intake's looking rough, so maybe, I don't know if I can wire wheel it or something, but I need to make that look better. If you guys know how to make this look better, let me know in the comments. Hey, I hope you like this video. Like I said, I've got one coming up on that side of the engine this week, uh, and I'm going to be just knocking out as much work as I can this week, trying to get all the mechanical stuff settled so that we can get to the body work and paint and be done with this thing. I really am trying to get this thing done this month. So we got a lot of work to do. Make sure you stay tuned on the channel to keep up with all of it. We are going to be finished with this thing very, very soon. Getting old. Still old. Michael Phelps. Come on, do some some jumps. Get those little muscles working. I gotta stay in the frame. Yeah, you're gonna stay in the frame. I really hope I don't twist my ankle. Yeah, the, I'm just checking to make sure the ground's still behind me. Yeah, you got it. It's it didn't move. 